Hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. It has been a long time coming since I have, well, received this package. In fact, since I have unboxed this package, and I've never actually opened this one up, let me explain to the audience exactly what this monstrosity is. This is Tainted Grail. This is everything for Tainted Grail. Mm -hmm. This is everything for Wave 1 and Wave 2 Tainted Grail. Let me explain why I have this and what exactly happened. Please do. West, before Quackalope, or just as Quackalope was becoming a quack, mm -hmm. we started creating content, Tainted Grail came onto the scene. And back in the day, I was obsessed with Kingdom Death Monster, and this had that vibe, that air, that story-driven, that, 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 that thing that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. And so I backed all in. This I went no head over heels. Everything should be sun drop, beautiful. Everything you can get for this game is in this box. And then, I decided to make one fatal error. You got busy? To save about $30, I chose one-wave shipping oh. instead of two-wave shipping. That's terrible. And so as the game arrived to backers, the base game, before Wave 2 shipped out, I saw everyone else getting the Tainted Grail, and I had built a channel. Hmm. And Awaken Realms sent me the core box, the original game. Wave 1 was in my hands, my grasp, and it quickly rose in the ranks to one of my top 10 games of all time last year. Okay. This game's amazing. I love this game. And yet, given the state of content creation and my current life schedule, playing through giant big box campaign games beyond that core box is hard to do. Very true. Except now. Because now we're diving back in. Awakened Realms is going to be revisiting the world of Tainted Grail with its standalone adventure coming soon. Link at the top of the video description. And West, here's one of the big reasons why we're opening this up. Because we need to get it out of the basement? I want to check out the Wave 2 content I never had a chance to dig into. Hey, that's a good idea. I want you to check out this game. Okay. And we should have a prototype on the way for the brand new standalone Ooh. And it's time to refresh on why Tainted Grail is a king among games. I look forward to and it. And what exactly we're hoping to see with this new standalone version. I like it. West? Yes. I've had the pleasure before. Let's do it. You want to break in? Yes. Oh, this entire box, by the way, like I said, this was purchased by me. You can see how big and how deep the rivets it's, are. It's Just so from moving this from it's place to place. So big. I'm wondering if I damaged anything by, like, this has been in a box for a year and a half, two years. I mean, who still owns an unopened Wave 2 of, King, of, of, uh, of the Tainted Grail? Was there a, a date on this? Because that would be, like, super funny. I mean, I wish there was. Yeah. It, 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 it has to be about two years old. <laughs> That's so funny. It's moved three times with me. I, how are you even... I mean, <sighs> it's a little ridiculous, right? Yeah. So let's just inch that forward and let's just start pulling things out so that we can do stuff. Okay. So we have a surprise box here, which has to be something that has been spoiled before. Uh, the echoes of the past. Okay. Their packaging is incredible as always. Oh, wow. So much foam. And just now grab and set down to the side. Okay. Let's get this box out of the way. This is so Goodness funny. Gracious. The amount of stuff in here. Ugh. I even have a playmat from years ago. <laughs> I didn't even know that was in here. Another art book. Okay. That sounds like some crazy coins. Nothing tucked inside there. Nope. Nothing popped into the middle. All right. Let's go ahead and move this box off the table. It has been opened. It has been delved into. Oh, that was loud. Sorry. Uh, West. Bad. I, I love mats. I didn't even know I got a mat. That's kind of funny. That's awesome. So, here we have the world map here. Very nice. Nice. I kind of so, like that. Yeah, and these would be where you put all your cards down so yep. you're actually exploring and whatnot. So, I mean, I don't know if people know what Tainted Grail is. Do you want to start setting people up with like what the concept of this game is? Yeah, so the concept of Tainted Grail is that you're in the uh, King Arthur... Knights of Camelot time frame, but it's in an alternate universe where everything's gone a little haywire, uh, you know, bad... Ooh, that's really cool. Um, 
bad uh, mojo has been going out and you are part of the uh, uh, a group of explorers that set out to try and find uh, what's been causing it. The problem is every group of explorers that set out before you has never come back. I got sleeves. Lots of sleeves. I upgraded. Excellent. I upgraded my game. I love it. Very I, nice. Well, I purchased the, sleeves for it. Good for me. You thought ahead. Uh, you want to open the base game? Yeah. Let's start. Let's take a look at that. Begin at the beginning. Talk people through what this is. So the thing that for me makes Tainted Grail such an incredible experience is a combination of the story, like the storytelling and the world building, mm -hmm. paired with I really like the combat system. It has this system where you play through a series of cards that at first felt like weird programming to me. But then yeah. as you start reading through the names and the way the actions actually sequence together with the beautiful artwork, you can see this rhythm of war and this, this battle back and forth happening. And that works both for the fighting and the social situation, the social interactions you have. Yeah, the, the concept of matching different pieces at the edge of each card as you're fighting is, is actually really unique and quite fun. So we have a start here for like organizing it. They still call this place Farmhold. Even throw, though barren fields provide little food and crumbling walls offer no protection, the last relic of glory days of Kahoot is, in its, men, is, is, is its men here. Always adorned with red ribbons, lit by candles, and with a daily offering at its gnarled feet, as long as the men here repels the weirdness, the townsfolk are ready to endure anything. So, there's this concept in this game of these, these pyres, right? right? The, these areas... That Giant provide things. light to the world, and they provide things light right to where you can actually move and explore. And you have to keep them lit. You have to keep them balanced. Yes. That is also where probably some of the biggest criticism of Tainted Grail comes from. Because it can be a bit of a grind having to find all the yep. different things and be able to keep that manure lit. And it does eventually go out. And when it goes out, if you're in a bad spot, that's not going to be very good for you. So I love the double Open up the character boards. Wow. All right, I, I'm telling you, Jesse was smart as a kid. Uh, full on sun dropped. Ooh. So these are the. Uh, wow, those look really nice. Yeah, don't they? They really look nice. I've not seen the sun drop ones before. We have all of our uh, heroes here. I mean, this is back like this is early Awaken Realms. This is one of the first games that I think they sent out fully sun dropped. Wow. We have our. Uh, Plastic tokens so those here. Those are the ones that actually go into Meniers to um, tell the time. They're a little hard to see. They are a little hard to see. But that's true. They're nice to have. Uh, what else is in here? Did I get? I had to have gotten metal coins. I only imagine that I that I did. I heard, I heard them in a package. I was about to say. I think that thing up there is. This metal guy's coins. a nuisance. Yes. Do you know anything about him? Uh, I do know that he's one of the people you fight. So there's a set of bad guys. So there's there's a few criticisms of this game, which I understand why people don't like them. But if you like kind of the grind of like Dark Souls type of stuff, mm -hmm. I personally think it still works well. Keeping these things lit is one of them. And then as you get more and more creatures following you, mm -hmm. uh, there's some of them that, that just literally haunt you for the entire duration of the game. Like you move somewhere and it's a step or two behind you and you're just going to get trapped and destroyed. And you kind of just want to explore the world. Um, That's so fair. there's a few, there's a few small parts, but we have piles and piles of cards, which we're not going to open up all this base game. We might end up doing a giveaway with this core base game at some point, because I already have a base game. Like I said, like mm -hmm. I have played through this. What I don't have is all the extras, the extra stuff. Uh, I want to see this album. Go ahead and hand me that knife. Are you going to play through a campaign with me? I would love to, yes. Are you excited about this? I am actually excited about it. I've, I, how I've much does, wanted... How much do I need to pay you to just play campaign games permanently with me? Is that an option? Well, I mean, you know, you're my boss. You can tell me whatever you want. I mean, I'll, I'll play anything. I need, you know me. I need, like, four days a week, you know, yeah. dedicated yeah. to just, just campaign, campaign games. games. It could be fun. Is that something we can do? This is really pretty. That is a beautiful album. Yes. Look at so that. this is what initially made me fall in love with the world. Look at the little farmhouse underneath the great like golem sword or giant sword. That's cool. So pretty. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. I don't know. I just I love the weird in the wild, you know, mm -hmm. and the combination of sort of uh, religious and mythic mythology mixed with this new twisted fantasy like King Arthur leaves off for Camelot and, and this is the land that he starts exploring through and stumbling across and things just don't quite go 
as planned, right? He yeah. disappears into the weird, and you are on this quest to discover what the weird is. Yeah. And knowing constantly that everyone who went before oh, you man. Did, no never one, came back. No one returned. Yes. No one ever returns. Uh, so okay. I've got some companions and stuff. Here's, here's a funny thing. <laughs> the surprise box. Yes. Uh, and so they do this. This is one of the things that Awakened Realms does, and I, I, I actually really commend them for it, is they always have little hints at the next thing that's coming. Now, the cool thing in this story is by the time this showed up, mm -hmm. Quackalope was like frontline collaborating with Awaken Realms, mm -hmm. uh, being able to show off and celebrate ISF Vanguard. I actually have multiple of these art books. Oh yeah? Uh, ooh, Alm Almanac of Avalon. Nice. So it's talking about all the different creatures yeah. and things in there? Yeah. That's pretty cool. And then we have a beautiful little letter coming to, uh, I believe, yeah, thank the backers. Um, and talk about the game itself. Cool. So cool. Uh, this is like nostalgia for me. I'm like <laughs> ruminating on, on all the all the cool places I've been since this game showed up at our house. Just a tiny little duckling, right? Here we are. That's what I'm uh, looking for. Yes, those are much nicer. Those are very nice. Yes, your day trackers. Yeah, and I actually, uh, I have one of these coins floating around somewhere because in my core game, I didn't have metal coins mm -hmm. and, and one friend gave me one of his coins to play with. So nice. in the game, because you don't, like, I didn't need all of them all the time. Sure. But yeah. I, I, like, wanted one for, like, just to have. Yep. Uh, what are the other stuff we have? Much easier to Echoes see. Echoes of the Past. So Echoes of the Past, and you also have uh, companions here as well. Do you know what this is? I do not, actually. Echoes of the Past expands all three Tainted Grail campaigns, Fall of Avalon, Last King, and Age of Legends, by adding personal stories and unique memoirs dedicated to each of the 13 playable characters. I I might not have... like This has to be Wave 2, in my opinion. Because if, if it's for all the campaigns, I haven't played through all of the campaigns yet. Because I believe like Age of Legends and The Last Kingdom was Wave 2 delivery. Um, I believe it's just the Fall of Avalon. That was the first one? That was the first one, yeah. So there's actually, it sounds like there's two storylines I haven't even explored yet, which cool. for me seems very cool. Uh, okay, so we have a set of cards. This one, she was in the base box. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a set of cards here. We have some new characters. And these are just like checklists for it looks like unlocking certain cards for them or something. Mm, could be. Not sure. Hmm. Interesting. And then we have a book of memories. Oh, and more story and more story text line. for each oh, one. Very nice. So these are just going to be expanding upon the character narratives that you have throughout the story. Love it. I want to play this so bad. Now, the challenging thing is I, I haven't played this for over a year now. Right. Because... It's just the nature of what we do. I bury, I don't get to get back to campaign games for a long time. Like I need to reread the rule book and dig back in fully. So I'm not sure if it's actually still on my official top ten mm. because I haven't played, played it in a long time recently enough. Sure. Which sounds like but we I can kind fix of, that. Problem. I kind of want to immediately dive into a new campaign mm -hmm. to see where it holds up to the other campaign games I've played. Um, I know it's insanely high up there. But so these are not sun dropped. Well, send them back. I can sun drop them myself. <laughs> uh, They're cute little companions. Yeah, they are. Nice. These are little pig. Nice. These Spare are little nice sizes. These are little companion models, I suppose. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what else we have. So I know the monsters of Avalon came in the original. Okay. Uh, I think, well, let's open that, because okay. I want to show it to you. Red Death is Wave 2. Uh, and I think Mounted Heroes is also Wave 2. Not 100% sure about that. I certainly don't have it. So I'd have to assume. I think Wave 1 was just like Fall of Avalon and the, monsters. the actual creatures that you're uh, going to be dealing with. So I love it when they do this. That's super nice. Because it is so hard to figure out if you've taken them all out and then go, oh no, West. Wow. I've had I've had some experiences with uh, with some of these guys. Yeah, this is one of the coolest models. Look at how slumped that dead that dead guy is. 
going on? Now, he's got four arms. The funny thing with these creatures is they were honestly a little bit gratuitous because you you kind of only face off with them when they pop up and so you like grab them and place them down on the board, but mm -hmm. then they don't really exist too much longer afterwards. Because you either you know get decimated or you win. <laughs> Fair, um, but they're they're incredible models, and uh, they really are. There's they're really tons cool to of have. detail in these. Yeah, I mean, tons there's a reason why Awaken Realms is known for putting out some of the best quality stuff in the industry, and it's stuff like this. I mean, they've yeah. been setting they've been setting the precedent for high quality miniature sculpts uh, for a while. Uh, uh, all right, let's slide that over. Very nice. Let's take a look at the stuff that I have never seen okay. before. What do you want to start with? Mounted Heroes, Red Death, or the core box? So let's look at Mounted Heroes first because I think that looks like very entertaining as well. Some beautiful large miniatures. At what point do they stop becoming miniatures? Do they become just like I'm smalls? Did you see the giant galactic miniature I got from yes. Seamon? I'm pretty sure that's still a miniature. Is that still considered I a miniature so. at that point? Because Galactus is gigantic. Yeah. So is it just in relation to the actual item? I think it's just in general, maybe. Okay. Did I not... Mm, I don't know if I like didn't pay for this wave. Well, you were cheap and didn't pay for the other $30 no, to have it all at once. But I paid for all of that. Right, which seems weird that this so wouldn't I, be sun I'd dropped. have to imagine this is supposed to be sun drop. You know, I don't think you're um, able to get these sun drops. <laughs> Are you not? I don't know. Well, I mean, I'm just saying maybe you couldn't... Uh, like, it's probably too late to, to oh, yeah. submit a ticket at this point. It's definitely too late to submit a ticket at this point. But I need to I need to check, because I feel like I would have been the person to have ordered... All of it sun-dropped. All of it sun-dropped. They look awesome. And it's they easy, do look really awesome. It's easy enough for me to prime and uh, oh, you yeah. know, use some uh, oil to match the style. Still, but, like, that's a huge difference in just the, in the massive amount of detail and quality. Yeah. No, I mean, quality is the wrong word, but just the massive amount of detail shine that, that just the simple wash puts on them. And like the feeling it gives you. Yeah, yeah. agreed. All right, let's see here. Tainted Grail stretch goals include two additional full-size campaigns, each offering a vast world to explore and countless hours of mysteries and secrets to uncover. In the last night, players foray into a frozen apocalyptic Avalon 400 years after the Corpox campaign events. Nice. There they see the aftermath, the aftermath of all decisions made during the fall of Avalon and bring the history of human conquest to a conclusion. Interesting. While t tackling new unique encounters, a new exposure mechanic, and dangerous locations with the help of their unlikely allies. The Age of Legends takes place 600 years before the Core Box campaign. It throws the characters into a thrilling story alongside the legends such as King Arthur, Lancelot, Merlin, and Nimu, uh, allowing players to discover the origins of many myths and places they came to know in the other campaigns. While traveling the, traversing the beautiful world uh, in the Wild Avalon, characters will also get to command entire armies and build structures thanks to the new military power mechanic. Well, that's cool. Together with the basic Fall of Avalon campaign, these two new stories create an intri in intricately connected trilogy that spanned four millennium. It wow. is told across hundreds of existing locations and journal pages, offering a board game experience unlike any other. That's pretty cool. I'm. I wonder what like this new standalone mm -hmm. is. Super compelling because their design chops has gotten better. Mm -hmm. The way they approach stories, the, the criticisms they've had from this. Sure. And then on top of that, I'm always excited when a company re explores an established world. Sure. Because then they don't have to do all the work to make the structures. And then they can just focus on the actual story and the gameplay itself. Yeah, they can focus on stuff that fits into the space that they already have. So here's the here's the save sheets. Nice. Now the question is. Is this sun dropped? It is because the back of the box is sun dropped. Is that how that works? Yep. Is it? It should be. No. But the back of the bat one was sun dropped too. Uh, yeah. I think that's just the photo. What do you think? <sighs> well, because I feel like I ordered it sun dropped. I feel like why would you order this sun dropped and not order that? Sun Don't think I would. Yeah. Don't think. But that. Don't wait for two years to open up your board games. This is what this people might say. happen. Uh, so these are your intro stories, right? Um, which are very cool, very neat. Uh, here, these were all the people in that book over there. Yeah. So, so well, these are going to be new characters that yep. we get to play. 
Uh, so you have your, your setup and your starting thing with each one of them, and they pop into your dual layer boards. Uh, we have a giant exploration, exploration journal. Book. And then a huge last night book. A huge last night book. Oh, man. Hold another set and pile of cards. Sun dropped. And some sun dropped minis. So there's th that has to be a mistake. That has to be a mistake. There's no way I didn't. I agree. Unless I just clicked on the wrong thing, because it might have been an add-on. It could have been. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, these models look so good. They do. And all of this just incorporates back into the stuff we already have. So the creatures and, and the uh, world you're traversing. These are going to be your giant story cards and your world exploration cards. You're going yep. to have uh, your combat decks. And, and so it has this weird combat system where you, like, play cards that chain off of each other, trying to get, like, a rope or a stretch of things. And you have to have the that ability to be able to actually play them. So like, and sometimes they have, they require magic. So you've got to have the, the magic to be able to play it. So it's yeah. very cool. Uh, so I'll scoot this over. Okay. And let's take a look at the red death. Is this fun? It is fun. Are you excited about it this does, game? Every time I see this game, I just want to play it so badly. The advanced red death campaign provides ch a challenge for experienced group play uh, of players, giving them a new exciting way story to play through and new ways to advance their characters. Hmm. Journey to Camelan, the ancient human capital abandoned during the plague of the Red Death, deal with new, uh, exciting threats with unique rules, such as separate mini encounters outlined on secret cards. Nice. Uncover the secrets of the homelands while making your way through locations dripping with mood and foul misma. Arm yourself with new knowledge and find allies among new, two new races, the wild Piats and the mysterious Formians. Learn brand new advanced skills and find unique ancient items, but beware of horrific Don's Macrab that trot up and down the city streets and, sh and the shrill sound of pipes inviting you to join their eternal dance. So is this, this is not a standalone, so you have to have Tainted Grail. Yeah. Is this more of like a scripted version of it, do you think? Seems like a side story. Yeah. Like a little side mission that's, that's difficult and brutal for advanced players. I like the idea. Yeah, I'm definitely interested. Exploration journal yep. again. Here are our player sheets. Set up player sheets, and yeah, here's uh, yeah, this looks like a smaller. Yeah. I almost kind of want to do this with you. I was about to say this is kind of like when we did that Nemesis rundown and did that one shot there. You've got like a bite size little world to Ooh, explore with the stuff that you already have. That looks have. like a gladiator almost. That's cool. I. I mean, what do you think? You think we get up and running on the core box, and then you and I play through this mini Heck campaign? Yeah. That looks really awesome. Because I don't bet a lot of people have done stuff on Red Death. True. Specifically. Looks fun to me. I'm moderately excited. What do you think? Oh, yeah, for sure. Let's see here. Squish this back down. Yep. All right. Let us know. Is it insane that I didn't open this up for a total... Of two years. Do you really need to ask that question? Because uh, well, yes, no, I had another copy. Is. I had another copy. But it's still you still had all this extra stuff. You had all these extra things. You it's like opening up, uh, you know, just part of a Christmas present. Like like if you if someone says, hey, these two things go together, but the difference, I'm just going to open that one and the then I'll forget that I had no, this. No, no. The difference is between then and Christmas, you became Santa Claus. Okay. <laughs> I still like. I, I do, like I, our I, channel exploded in between this journey. I, I shake my Christmas presents though. Like I'm, 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 I, I still He's have to shaker. open every box. He's a Christmas shaker. Yeah. Uh, and let us know what do you want to see. Are you interested in a campaign? Revisiting this? Are you just excited for the fact that we're going to be getting a prototype? Um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, that's the thing, because I really want to play the Red Death part, because it sounds super cool, but I also really want to play the prototype. Well, we will play the prototype. Yeah. Period. I just want to do, like, I want to dive into this original, mm -hmm. so that you can see what I loved so much about this game. Mm -hmm. And then we can anticipate in both taking a look at the prototype itself. Yeah. So. And you know me in campaign games. What about you in campaign games? I like them. Do you? I do. Yeah. I like stories. I do, too. Yeah. I'm a big story guy. I'm not no always one, the big like dungeon guy. There's a lot of a lot of other people are not story people. She was not a big story person. She's becoming a story person because Kingdom Death's her second favorite game of all time. Yeah, but she likes mechanics in Kingdom Death. Devin's this not really mechanics. a story person. That's because Devin has a hard time reading. Sort of dumb. Sort of Alex's not a story person at all. No, because he reads too fast. I have West though. Yeah, you have me. West story person. I will play story games with you. We do all stories. Lots of stories. I mean, playing through the Nemesis stuff. 
That was some of the most fun, fun I've fun. had with you. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. We still haven't done the lockdown version yet. Oh, uh, I want to so bad. There's so much to do. Oh, it's like I'm delivering presents for Christmas. Except they're <laughs> videos, and it's for an audience of people that enjoy them. Which at least we have the audience of people who enjoy them. That's Santa a good thing. has people who believe in him too. But lots of people don't. Those people are wrong. We're all magical. Super magical. All right. That's it. It's a video. Goodbye. Goodbye.